Hey guys, so today I am doing my bookshelf tour because my friend Meg wanted me to do this because she was like, yo, I need to know what books I can buy you for your birthday and I don't know how to do that without knowing what your bookshelf looks like. So this is basically for her, but it's also a very requested video on the booktube and I feel like sharing it with you. This is my most updated bookshelf but um, yeah, we have new books over here, over there, yeah. Okay, so here's an overview of my bookshelf. Here you go. And um, I'm not going to go over what's up there. You guys can look now, but that's what's up there. This is the IKEA bookshelf cube 4x4 bookshelf, and you can get this at any IKEA store, so yeah. Okay, so the first book I have is The Blue Day Book for Kids by Bradley Trevor Grieve, Grieve or whatever it is. I don't know. That's a really good book. And then here I have this, and it's called The Big Fat Cookies Cookbook, and I've never even baked out of this, but it is just really pretty, and I like having it in my room. I got it for free, so I just decided to put it there. And then I have this box that has cards in it from, like, when I was little and just everything. Then I have this masquerade mask, and then I have this teapot from Meg, funnily enough. And then these little shoes that were mine when I was a kid. And then I have this shelf, and I have this little kangaroo from Australia, and then I have the whole Harry Potter series. I have Fallen by Lauren Kate, and um, Percy Jackson um, box set series by Rick Riordan. And then I have this. This is also from Meg. It's just a little sticker, and it's so cute. I have a blue tack there because I don't want to ruin my bookshelf, but yeah, it's really cute. And then this is Falling, but it's probably my favorite bookshelf that I have because all the colors just match so well, and it's so cute and pretty. So down here, I just have these two erasers that are sheep. Anyway, they're from um, Smiggle, and then I have this, and it is from South Africa. It's a stone elephant carving and it's really pretty. Anyway, on to the books. I have Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, Airhead and Airhead Runaway by Meg Cabo, Marked by PC and Kristen, Kristen Cat Cast, Stolen by Lucy Christopher, Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater, Lament by Maggie Stiefvater, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, The Selection, The Elite and The One by Kira Cass, Forgotten and the Originals by Cat Patrick, Switched by Amanda Hocking, Emmy in the Home for Trouble, and Encyclopedia of an Ordinary Life by Amy Krauss Rosenthal. On to the next bookshelf. I really like this because it's just really pretty. I have these two little angel things, and I got these in the Czech Republic. And then I have these, and these were given to me by my great aunt, and this was from my great grandmother. And then this is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Just One Day by Gail Foreman, Cold Hands, Warm Heart by Jill Wolfsey, The Four Now Stars by John Green, and Paper Towns by John Green. And then in this, like, file thing, I just have um, school stuff and things like that. And then I have this shelf, and this is sort of like my more classics. And so I have The Giver by Louis Lowry, The Five People We Meet in Heaven by Mitch Album, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden, I You There Got It's Me, Margaret by Judy Bloom, The Outsiders by Essie Hinton, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, People Might Hear You by Robin Klein, and To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. And then I have this that I made, and I am so proud of myself for getting this to stand up like this. This has never stood up on its own, so I'm so proud of myself. And yeah, I'm not reading any of these books until I have properly appreciated that that is standing up. Then here I just have some nail polish and um, this, which is full of magazines and random stuff. Okay, here I have some sort of girly books and stuff. So I have Everlasting, oh, Everlasting, This Lullaby by Sarah Dessen, Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen, I'll Be There by Holly Goldberg Sloan, Every Day by David Lothan, One Day by David Nichols, and then this camera that's actually a film camera and this is where my bookmarks normally go but they are out because I just filmed a video about them and then here I have some historical books that I keep here and I, so I have Rumours by Anna Goldberg, Playing Betty Bo by Ruth Park, Out of the e Easy by Ruta Sepetis, 
Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis, The Book Thief by Maka Suzak, Ooh. The Puzzle Ring by Kate Forsyth, Three Cups of Tea by um, Greg Morton and David Oliver Round. I don't know. Um, the Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kid, and Once by Morris Gleitzman. I don't know why this is not saying up. And then I just have some shells, and then just a basket thing of shells, and then this little penguin guy. Just saying, hey. Okay, here I have all of my dystopian books. Hello. Okay. So I have Divergent World Little Thing, um, Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant. Then I have Champion by Mari Lu, Gone by Michael Grant, <coughs> The Ever After by Amy Huntley, um, Entangled by, oh, who's this by? Amy Carpetta, um, Under the Never Sky by, by Veronica Rossi, Birthmarked by Craig O'Brien, The Hunger Games Catching Fire, and Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. And look at my copies of these. They are dead. Anyway, and then I just have this. It was from Queensland, and it's just a little dolphin. Yeah. And then I have this little rock that has a frog on it, and it says hope. And then I have this. This is also from my great-grandmother, and I just remember when I was a kid, always going to her house and looking at this, and then now it's mine. And then I just have this. This is from um, a restaurant in Thailand. And then I have a little fan from Japan that my dad got for me. And then here I have, like, all my really trashy girl girly novels. So I have The Guardian by Nicholas Sparks, um, Beneath the Glitter by Ellen Blair Fowler, The Carry Diaries by Candice Bushnell, Bun Bushnell um, Gossip Girl, Nothing Can Keep Us Together by the Cicely Von Zalgo, Size 12 is Not Fat by Meg Cabot, um, Forgotten Promises by me. <laughs> Fun. Penny Jordan, Valentine's Night. I really need to read that book. Um, My Life and Other Catastrophes and The Indigo Girl. How to Ditch Your Fairy by Justine Larbelster. A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks. And then I just have my little piggy bank that I put, like, my money from walking my dog and stuff in there. I don't know. I just really like to display this. And then I have this box, and it's just full of, like, memories and things I want to remember. And I don't know. It's just really nice. And then here I have City of Glass, City of Ashes, and Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. And I know these are in the wrong order, but I hate that it's a two different size. They're two different editions. This is the Australian edition, and this is the American edition. Look at that size difference. I know. I know. Yeah. And then I have Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner by Stephanie Meyer. I just have them all stacked on top of each other. And then I have these. This is from South Africa. If you know what this is, then you probably understand what it means. But it's like you get these for, like, good luck of your family. So this one was from before my little brother was born. And then my parents thought that I should have it because, obviously, after he was born, we got a new one. And it's just carved out of stone, and they're just really beautiful. And then I have this, and this is... I'm not sure what they're called, but I, this was actually... Um, full and it wasn't broken it, it just dropped on the floor one day and oh my gosh so sad and then it's on this little cabbage um plate thing and then i have little rocks i used to collect rocks like this and it's also on a matching cabbage plate and then down here i just have this little hat from vietnam i don't know this is like the hats that they wear there the rice hats i don't know i just really like and then here i have school books um these just have my school name on them, so this is going to have to be blurred out, but I have a drawing book, I don't know, and then what science is all about, a girl like you, um, just a bunch of like random books, you guys can see that for yourself. Then I have magazines, these are like my favorite magazines, and then some CDs, and then just this little elephant from Jim Thompson House in Thailand. And I have a blank one, and this is where I put the books from my library, or just, um, books that I have to organize and then I have school supplies so that completes my bookshelf tour yes I am on the floor right now but yep that's my whole bookshelf and yeah thank you guys for watching this video and bye